I'm Dave Wilhelm. In this video, we discuss the SWOT section of the Business 245 Business Plan. SWOT analysis attempts to answer the questions as to where are we, what is happening, and what might happen. There are four elements of SWOT analysis. Strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. The internal elements of SWOT analysis are strengths and weaknesses. The external elements of SWOT analysis are opportunities and threats. The other way of classifying them is look at the positive elements and the negative elements. Strengths and opportunities are both positive. Weaknesses and threats are both negative. Strengths and weaknesses are actual. They're, they're really there. There's no potential about them. Opportunities and threats may be actual external positive or negative items that have already happened, or they may be potential positive or negative items that might happen. Determining if something is internal or external is not always easy. The best way to determine that is, do we have control over it? Can we change it? If the answer is yes, then it's internal. If we cannot control or change it, then it's external. Some things might be unsure whether they're internal or external. Location is one of those. Depending on the time frame, maybe that's a s internal or external. We can change it long term. So in that sense, it's internal. We may not be able to change it short term. So in that case, it might be external. Even though strengths and weaknesses are internal, they are relative to external competitors' characteristics. We may have extremely good manufacturing, which one would think is a strength, but if our competitors have even better manufacturing, well, then it's a weakness. One thing most of us think about is that any weakness we have is an opportunity to improve. Not here. Weaknesses are actual and internal. Opportunities are external and positive. So if we do have a weakness, in general, it's an opportunity to improve and turn it into a strength, but not here. Opportunities are those external, actual, or potential items. So strengths and weaknesses, internal, actual, not potential. Opportunities and threats. These may be based on assumptions we made that are no longer valid. And opportunities and threats may be actual or potential. Here are some examples. Strengths, low-cost manufacturing, high-quality manufacturing, proprietary technology, including patents, copyrights, skilled workforce. Our weaknesses might be high manufacturing costs, too much debt, lack of e-commerce, don't have a good website, to narrow a product line, or an unclear target market. Both those strengths and weaknesses are things that we can fix. Opportunities, rising consumer demand, competitor disengagement, somebody gets out of the industry, government requirements can be opportunities, requirement for seatbelts if we're a seatbelt manufacturing, the Affordable Care Act, though I think there may be winners and losers in that. That could be a threat as well. Threats, well, a shift in buyers' needs or tastes, new regulatory requirements, adverse demographic changes, growing power of suppliers, slowing market growth. Notice those opportunities and threats we do not have control of.